find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia channel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get early access, exclusive content and buyer's remorse. A grand welcome to our newest cult members, Tom Luke, Anita Christians Dottier, Caitlin and Zach, Michelle Ordiver, Bianca Sampson, Average British White Boy, Dan Charlie Thomas, Kevin McDermott, Torquil, Kyle Farron and George Lake. Join the cult at patreon.com slash Novimpia. We've also got merch. Don't you and I make the perfect merch? No. And now, on with the show. Because your call is semi-important to us. Good morning, Wendigo Solutions. If you want cracking one-liners, call the girl with two vaginas. So, yeah, that, that would appear to be unprofessional. How can I help? Yes, your son sent his Amazon wish list to your phone. I, I can't see the problem. Oh, you'd like to view it on a computer? Well, send it to yourself in an email. All right, so open your email, put the link in, and send it to yourself in an email. No, there's no not understanding that. Have you got Apple devices? Because you could put the link in a note on your... No, of course you don't know if you have Apple devices. How could you possibly know that? All right, listen, why don't you just, like, look at it on your phone and then type in every individual item in Amazon because you can see what he wants on your phone. Yeah, that would be a waste of precious fucking time, I agree. Which instead you're choosing to do by sucking the life out of my ear hole. Listen, no, just cancel the whole thing. Listen, just order yourself a tempur pillow. One of those really heavy ones, yeah. And then when it arrives, lie down on your floor and place it on your face and slowly lower a cabinet onto yourself. All right, then, cheers. Merry bunghole. Hello, Hilda. I know, absolute shitheads all morning. I haven't even had time to play with my new Alexa. Yeah, Eugene got it for me. He's such a cutie patootie. I'll give him a quick handy at the Christmas party. I couldn't find anything for quick handy at the Christmas party. <gasps> oh, my Hilda, can you hear that? Oh, she's always listening. Shut up. What a quick handy. That's a gift. Shut up. I could always re-gift him a candle. I got given this candle. It's like motiva it's for motivation. Yeah, I could never be asked to light it. I think it's starting about seven tonight, Hilda. No, you can't be late. I shan't be left there on my own. What are you talking about? You you're going to the GP at 6.30 at night. What is wrong with you now, Hilda? Please. No, you can't, you can't say tit at the doctor's office, Hilda. It's breast. That's fine. You can make seven. You're Nicki Minaj. We've got to think of some appropriate music that we can play at the Christmas party, Hilda. I'll get the Alexa to play it. Who's, like, reflective of the room? Garbage. Oh, you're so dreadful. No, but I like that 90s vibe, though. What, maybe like the Cranberries? Or Prodigy? Alexa, play Firestarter. Playing Fartstirrer. Turn, stop it, Alexa, stop that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> oh. Oh, God. <sighs> Alexa, play Fartstirrer. Playing Fartstirrer. <laughs> Or Hilda, like, am I in the mood for something more spangly, you know, to match my merry attire? I don't care about expensive things, diamond coats, cashmere rings. Alexa, play something good. Playing Ritora. No, you fuck. Stop, stop that. I said something good. Playing Ed Sheeran. I'm so, so, stop, stop, stop. Hilda, it's broken. I'm, uh, can you try again, please? Try again. Playing Madonna. F I will stop. I will fucking put you in the bathtub. I will head first. Which you look like a hockey puck. I don't know where the head is. You're an electronic. That won't work for you. Water. Mine is a. Mine's being an asshole. C try again, please. Play something good. Playing vanilla. <gasps> vanilla. Vanilla. Oh, yeah, she's got a Christmas jumper on. You've, it's got bells on it. You've never seen anything so fucking obnoxious in your entire life. <gasps> Oh, of course I'm ecstatic for the party tonight. Of course I am. You know, remember last year, if it's anything like that, God, it'll go off. You know, people were there till at least 11. I'm wearing this. I'm just staying here and then wearing this. How, how is it not Christmassy, Linda? It's green sequins. I literally look like a Christmas tree. The fucking visually impaired cleaner tried to hang a bauble on my left nipple. What's that? Oh, a present for me. Oh, you didn't need to do that, Linda. You didn't need it's earrings, Lindy. A pair of earrings. Put them on. I mean, I mean, they're not. Well, they're not understated. It won't go. It won't go on, Linda, because it's a. Well, it's a decoration off of the tree. It's not. You know. I don't even want to work here.
I love, I love these earrings. Hilda, come and shoot me in the face. No, she's just giving me some earrings. Oh my god. Alexa, shoot me in the face. You look like an asshole. Hilda, she keeps trying to pop up and like spread Christmas cheer or I don't fucking know. She's, every time you turn around, it's like a Yuletide virus. Just there. She's, she's like Melissa Jane Hart on ABC Family. Have you got your outfit sorted, Hilda? Why'd you always leave it to the last day? You're such a bloody heff. I can't believe it every goddamn year. You might be able to get same day delivery. What did you fancy? Like a suggestive slip or a Christmas teddy? Let me have a look here. Um, there's Anne Summers. They might do same day. Although well, you really, you can't just come in a bow. £125 for a dildo. You can shove that up your ass. There's a lovely black satin number. And it doubles as pyjamas, Hilda, so you can just go home and go straight to bed. You'd look hot shit in this, Hilda. It's like a black satin shift. And you can skulk around. When it gets, like, really late at the party, you can go upstairs, the sixth floor. Skulk around those fancy toilets. Like in that, what's that erotic movie where she writes on the wall in the lipstick? No, not The Shining. Listen, I'm just going to order it, Hilda. Trust me, it's very flattering. Can you see it? I've sent you the link. It'll hang on your breasts just wonderfully. Well, maybe not your breasts. Of course, it's rectangular, Hilda. It's a shift dress. Oh, it is a pillowcase. Hilda, wear that brown thing that you got for the pub quiz. Do you remember when you had to go home halfway through because you realised that you blended into the sofa? <laughs> it's the same. They match the sofas in the red lion. Oh, uh, that guy didn't see you at all. Sat right in your crotch. And then you pretended to be furniture for the next five years. That was embarrassing. God, yeah. No, just wear that. So then iron it. <laughs> you don't have an iron. Who doesn't have an iron? Hilda, you're dreadful. All right, show of hands, everyone. Who owns an iron? There's a sea of hands going up. Steph. Steph. Are you protesting something, Steph? Are you trying to keep warm for winter? Those are two of only very few excuses I would accept, Stephanie, for why your armpits are so relentlessly hairy. Now put your arm down. Put it down. Shh. Even Stephanie's got an iron, Hilda. Steph, has your iron got a really long cord? Does your flat have very high beams? All right, when you go home later on, sit by the phone and await further instructions. Hilda, just nip into mine on the way home and use my iron, that's fine. I've left a key, I've left a spare key in a very sort of cunningly disguised flower pot. It says spare key on it backwards to foil burglars. I mean, you've got to iron it. It's fine, just use mine. I mean, mine doesn't work very well. It doesn't work at all, actually, but it's fine if you press down really hard. Well, no, I never really use it. Have you got milk in your staff room, by the way, Hilda? Because we haven't got any. I had to like put some butter on the radiator and strain off like the mildew that melted down. It felt like Tom Hanks in Castaway. Well, can you bring some of yours down, please? Yeah. Also, can you have you got any of those like cheese and chive lattices? I like those. They're healthy because they've got holes in them. I think only one call today, actually. I don't know. One call that I can remember. Some problem with her phone. I bet it was like a Nokia 3310. Oh, okay, boomer. Yeah, I have one of those and a Motorola and a Blueberry. It sounds like they've conned you in your contract, Hilda. £45 for that piece of crap. They saw you coming, those devious Swedish bastards. I mean, they're probably not Nazis. I don't think it's fair to say that every Swedish person is a Nazi, Hilda. Did you study history at all? Maybe at school? I know a lot about Nazis, thank you very much. I've seen bedknobs and broomsticks. Because you're with a Swedish company, Hilda. It's a Swedish company. That's why I've just thrown a random Scandinavian country at you to insult for no reason. Because you weren't smart enough to demand a better monthly price for 100 texts, 20 minutes and 2 kilobytes of data. Oh, Alexa, tell Hilda what Scandinavia is. Can you explain? Stupid bitch. I know. Oh my god, Hilda. What do you call an Icelandic pig? Yeah. Pjork. No, I didn't think you'd get it. Did you do a secret Santa on your floor? I got some darling tea bags. No, I thought they were tea bags. No, they're not tea bags. I thought they were tea bags. They're those things you hang in your wardrobe. Smell of lavender, keep your clothes fresh. <laughs> Almost poisoned Linda this afternoon. I got Stephanie a London Underground sign for her desk because it's always covered in banana skins and like yogurt pots and stuff. It says, mind the crap. We've got like another hour until we can start. Hilda, I brought shots. It's only Cactus Jacks. I know, but I want to be so drunk that they taste like Capri Sun. Oh, I'm so excited. Alexa, play Christmas music. Playing YouTube audio library copyright free Christmas music. Oh no. Your time management skills are horrible, Hilda. I can't get over it. This is your messiest year yet. We haven't even started drinking. God. That Barclays might still be open. The one on the corner. The Barclays Bank. What? They didn't release music. Did Barclays Bank release music? I don't know. Who's saying thank you next? 
Thank You Next is a song released by popular recording artist and actress Princess Diana of Wales. If you want to put your money into the toilet, join our Patreon, that doesn't rhyme. 